Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rana. Today is 11th of August 2019. We're going to reflect on Luke 12, 35 to 40. Jesus said, be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. But know this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Let me ask you a question. <clears throat> if at this very moment, as you are watching this reflection, there is a knock on your door, and you open it to see Jesus standing there, are you ready to receive him as an honored guest? Or is your living room untidy? Are there dirty dishes piled up in the sink? Is the bed unmade? Are there clothes strewn about the floor? I imagine it would be terribly embarrassing to have Jesus walk into a house like that. But then I don't think Jesus would really concern himself with the state of your house. Besides, it might be spick and span as many houses are, even though the inhabitants are not. What would concern him more is the state of your soul. Is that spick and span? It astonishes me how many of us lead lives of degeneracy, acting like there is not going to be a reckoning or believing that we can fix it with a last-minute confession. Peter warns, be alert and of sober mind, because your enemy, the devil, prowls about like a roaring lion waiting for someone to devour. There is a certain way in which we must remain alert. Jesus had told us how to remain so. Watch and pray, he said, so that you will not fall into temptation because the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Jesus also tells us something in today's passage that offers help. Be dressed for action, he says, and have your lamps lit. Soldiers during wartime don't change into pajamas and hop into bed. They keep their uniforms on, even their shoes, and are ready to spring into action the moment there is the invitation to do so. That's being dressed for action. And we will understand what it means to have lamps lit when we think of lamps as used in the time of Jesus. They were little clay vessels in which oil had to be continuously filled and the wicks constantly trimmed to ensure they remained burning. This translates into our lives as continuously being filled with the Holy Spirit and ensuring that we are constantly being pruned by Him. Let me end with another question. Are you praying for the second coming of Jesus? Chances are you're not. Why not? Because you are not ready. Well, it's time we all go ready now because the next knock on the door might actually be Jesus. <laughs>